So this is the Fodix Odin system transmitter on a Nikon DSLR. I've plugged it in right now onto the Hachu, and you can see right here, channel A is on TTL mode with no override or underwrite, and I can, of course, change that for my power group A by simply holding down the select button a number of times until it cycles to there. And then I can take it down or up to make different ratios. So right now I have A on zero and then B is off. But if I want to turn it on, I would just simply hit the mode button and then it would go, right now it's a TTL minus one. So that would be a ratio of power group B being one stop under power group A, power group A being on TTL. So that's the controls that you get up here. Okay, so right now you can see on the top left hand corner, I'm in manual mode and I can change my shutter speed and my aperture like that in manual mode, but only up to a point, see? Like it stops at 1 250th of a second, and so I can't sync any higher than that, and the fun of shooting off-camera flash, especially outdoors, is the ability to use high-speed sync. To get to high-speed sync, I need to select the menu button, and then come down to custom settings menu, and down to bracketing and flash. Now, of course, the menus might be a little bit different on different camera models. This is an Icon D7000. So right here, flash sync speed. It's at 1 250th, which is normal. We want to go up to 1 250th or 1 320th, which is called auto FP. I don't know why they have their own nomenclature, and I don't know why there's two different auto FPs. Auto FP translate to high speed sync. Um, it's a complete mystery to me, no matter which one I choose, if I go to 3 20th of a second, you can see up here on my Fodix that I have the high speed sync button lit. And now you can see I can take it all the way up to 1 8,000th of a second, the minute that this high speed sync button is on. Now curiously, if I go back to that other menu where it says auto FP 1 250th of a second, you can achieve the same thing as once I go back to manual uh, exposure mode, you can see down here, my shutter speed again goes up to 1 8,000th of a second. In other words, what I'm saying is, is that as long as you choose auto FP in the menu, whether it's 1 250th of a second or 1 3 20th of a second, they're both auto FP. Auto FP means autofocal plane shutter, or in other words, high speed sync. So just to make things less confusing, I put it on 320 so that I can see on this menu that it's higher than 250. Uh, if I just put it on 250, then when I look in this menu, I don't know that it's on high speed sync uh, because unless I look at my Photix unit here, and see the high speed sync button, I don't know that I'm in high speed sync, other than the fact that I can increase my shutter speed up to 8,000th of a second, or 4,000 depending on your camera model, okay? So take my advice on this one, and then when you go over to flash sync speed, just choose the 1 3 20th as uh, your high speed sync setting. Again, you'll see up here that we have the high speed sync emblem on, and then down here on the camera, we can take it all the way up to one eight thousandth of a second. And that's how the Photix system works on Nikon. Typically in the Photix system, the minute that you put this on, it will override the camera's high speed sync. So on Canon or Sony, if you just press the high speed sync, the camera will then engage high speed sync. Not so with Nikons. Nikons, you actually have to go to the menu level and then change the uh, sync to auto FP 1 320th before you can enjoy those higher shutter speeds.